You just heard uh, Sam say it just a little bit ago. That's it's the right. start of the high school football season, at least in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. How are we looking weather-wise? Because I feel yeah. like they're always dealing with weather delays this time of there's the year. There's a little something going on over there, right? Yeah, well, they're starting during the wettest month of the year. There you go. Of course they're going to get something. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you guys, it looks like we're starting to see some storms really forming over in Las Cruces. Check out this beautiful live picture that we're going to be seeing here from our mountain camera. And so we are definitely seeing a lot more cloud cover in our skies. That convection is really starting to kick in for El Paso. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. If you look at a radar map, you're going to see a little bit of a closer view of El Paso in just a second. There we are. So you're going to see that there is a storm system right over the mountain areas just east of El Paso. This storm system just popped up. It's just a pop up storm and it really hasn't come together just yet. Then we move west and so this mountain here is splitting west and northeast El Paso. It looks like something's trying to pop up there as well. Hasn't really come together too nicely. And now we're looking at this storm right over Las Cruces, just east of Las Cruces. It looks like it's going to go down on the mountain. So it's going to go over the mountain. And as it does, there is a possibility that we could see some heavy rain in about an hour or so. And it looks like kickoff, if I'm not mistaken, I think Andy said around 7-ish. So that's going to probably potentially become an issue for our friends in the Mestia Valley. So we'll have to wait and see here. As for those uh, rain totals, this particular weather model is showing us that we could see some uh, increased rain chances and flooding potential Saturday, Friday night into Saturday morning. And so this has just updated. It updates around 6. It'll do it again at 10. And you're going to notice that this one has updated and brought us down to 1.3 inches of rain from Friday night to Saturday morning. That's a short period of time. That's a lot of rain. So this is what we're dealing with. One inch of rain in Las Cruces during this time frame, 1.5 in Juarez. As we move ahead, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing much in terms of rain around 8, 8 a.m., but we do expect to see an additional, uh, a little bit more in El Paso. So 1.5 is what we're forecasting for your rain totals around 9 o'clock Saturday night. And then we could top out to about 1.8 uh, by the time we're done in over over with. Well, this one doesn't really update at that point, but yeah, we could potentially see a little bit more as we make our way into Sunday morning. So everything is changing quite quickly. Our weather models are definitely trying to keep up with what exactly can we expect since this is such a big weather event. Some of our models don't handle it so well. So right now we're at 84 degrees. Dew point temperatures are rather high. Nice easter southeasterly winds at 15 miles per hour, and those rain chances are just going to continue to stay with us. So we're looking at seven degrees on Saturday, 80% chance of rain all day, then potentially seeing some rain chances Sunday morning, 83 degrees, your forecast high with a 30% chance of rain, and then we'll back it off a little bit on Monday, 20% chance, 85 your forecast high, and then we'll keep it at a 10% chance Tuesday through much of next week. So a lot going on, but it does look like our big rain event is expected Friday night into Saturday morning. I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher, Fernie G. Thank you so much for allowing us to see this view of Eastwood earlier this week. Look at that rain shaft, just gorgeous shot. And if you'd like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com. Andy, Natasia, Colin. Good morning, guys.